Imagine a cosmic beast so powerful it bends the very fabric of space-time and holds secrets that could answer our most pressing questions on reality. Now imagine there is not just one of these beasts in the universe, but there are over 40 quintillion, where one quintillion is one million trillion of them spread across the galaxies. The beast in question? A black hole. In 1916, Albert Einstein theorized the existence of black holes through his theory of general relativity. This theory, among others, says that what we feel as gravity is actually the warping of space-time caused by massive objects. To visualize this, imagine a series of lines stacked on top of each other, but within those lines sits a giant ball. This massive ball, due to its weight and size, begins to bend the lines around, causing any object that would get near to move around it. Einstein's theory of relativity works in a very similar way. Instead of lines, we have space, and instead of a ball, we have objects with mass like stars and planets that bend the space around them. Now keep this in mind as we fast forward to 1964, when Einstein's theory was confirmed and the first signs of a black hole were ever observed. But it wouldn't be until 2019 that we would receive the first image of a black hole using the Event Horizon Telescope. Now, for a black hole to become, well, a black hole, it first has to go through a series of events. These events start with a star which is 20 times greater than the mass of our sun. As the star runs out of fuel and dies, it succumbs to its own gravity, violently collapsing in on itself. As it collapses, the object becomes ultra-dense, pulling other objects that fall within its warped space-time into it, including light. If light can't escape a black hole, how do we even know that they are there? A couple of ways. First, because many black holes are so large, astronomers can observe their pull on nearby planets and stars. If objects get too close to a black hole, the gravitational pull can cause them to superheat and emit X-rays. That's how Cygnus X1, the first ever black hole confirmed, was detected. Black holes can also form accretion disks, which look very similar to the ones shown in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, where gas and dust float around the black hole, creating an event horizon observable through telescopes. This event horizon led to the possibility of the Event Horizon Telescope capturing the first ever photograph of Sagittarius A star in 2022, which sits at the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Now surprisingly, there are different types of black holes, but are generally classified into three types according to their mass. Stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, intermediate mass black holes, and a fourth one as a surprise. Stellar black holes are tens if not hundreds times the mass of our sun, with astronomers believing there are over 100 million of them spread across the Milky Way alone. Then we have the biggest of them all, the supermassive black hole, which is millions if not billions of times larger than the sun. It's even been theorized that every large galaxy in the universe has a supermassive black hole at its center. The third type, the intermediate mass black holes, which are also known as the missing link black holes, are likely formed from the collapse of a cluster of stars. However, these black holes are rare and difficult to prove. Scientists have also proposed a fourth hypothetical type, known as primordial black holes. Such objects may have formed in the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang when pockets of gas were dense enough to spontaneously form a black hole. Now what do we know about the black holes themselves? Some have theorized primordial black holes could be as small and weigh as much as a paperclip or as big as a hundred times the sun. So what's inside of a black hole? No one really knows for sure. General relativity suggests all matter that falls into a black hole gets crushed to an infinitely dense single point known as singularity. Scientists don't know if this singularity is real, or just mathematical. After all, even if we can't see it, the matter entering a black hole has to go somewhere. Moreover, the theory predicts time itself comes to an end at the exact center of a black hole. Generally, if a person were to experience traveling toward a black hole feet first, ignoring the near instantaneous death, you would find yourself stretched into a miles long string of protons. Scientists actually have a term for this, spaghettification, caused by the fact that gravity at your feet is stronger than at your head. Even stranger, due to the extreme warping of space-time, once you pass into the black hole, there is no longer a difference between up, down, left, or right. 
all directions are within the singularity at the center of the black hole. Of course, in reality, it is seemingly impossible to survive getting anywhere near a black hole, never mind entering it, but it's fun to think about. Black holes were officially predicted a little more than a century ago, and much of the inner workings remain a mystery. However, scientists have made significant progress over the past several decades through observations and ongoing study, all inching us closer to unraveling the mysteries held within these cosmic beasts.